Hey, welcome back. Another day, another vlog. Wow, here we are on Monday. I've got to get back to work tomorrow. That is not going to be much fun. Uh, it's been a good break, actually. I've been, really enjoyed it. Uh, super, super excited about, I guess, going back to like a normal routine, I guess, normal. Um, it's been fantastic being with my little buddy, Jack. Um, two and a bit years now. He's growing up really, really fast. And yeah, I've had some awesome times with him. Um, two year olds, they can push her and he's pushed me. <laughs> And I've learned a lot about that too, so I think it was good It was good for me and I hope he, he had as much fun as I did. Um, I think he did. He's a pretty lively character, so that was pretty cool. It's been really, really good to get to have some time with him and not have to worry about thinking about work and all the stuff that entails with that sort of thing, so that's been good. Um, obviously there'll be some differences with the show. Obviously tomorrow, I'm, I'm trying to work out what I'm going to do tomorrow because I'll leave at lunchtime, so I'm not going to have time to get this done by tomorrow day. I've got to get to work, do get a room, because they took my room off me, um, and now I've come back early. I've got to get a room. I don't know where it's going to be. I've got to get all three full lockers full of gear out, move all that to wherever I am, unbox it, set it all up, uh, get my room done so <laughs> yeah it's gonna be a bit of a nightmare tomorrow and then I'm gonna get all that done try and work out the, how dinner works everything so there's a fair bit tomorrow so there may be a chance that this doesn't happen tomorrow so I just wanted to give you a quick heads up I'll do my best but um, I'm more focusing on the video so super moon video looking looking really good it's come up really nice Basically, I've got all set up, all edited. Uh, I've got a couple of graphics in there just about, because I've got two sets of moons on there. I've got my a stacked version, which is from my 300 vintage, 300 mil Super Takamar vintage, which is like 10, I think it's 10 photos stacked, focus stacked to just try and bring out the just absolute best I could. Um, and it come up really good. And then back to back on that, the, how far we've come a 40 year old lens compared to this uh, the 55 200 Canon zoom lens um, which is a fantastic lens and I use it a lot for my uh, landscape photography for my panoramas and when I want to do things but I got one shot with that which was just absolutely mignon and just fantastic so sort of a bit of a comparison there some other really nice photos but it's all looking good I've got to do music tonight uh, all the finicky stuff go through transitions bits and pieces like that but i should theoretically get that done tonight render it tonight so i can upload it tomorrow morning and finish that off so i'm going to focus on that so yeah possibly no sh daily show tomorrow i will do my best even if i do a quick short one once i get to my new room and do it like a show you my new room and unboxing and where i am and stuff like that so i might do it that way um it may not be a news related just more of hey i'm back at work now also on that uh normally i put these out about lunchtime every day i once jack goes to bed i can sort of come and film it and do that that's about two one o'clock every day obviously once i go back to work i can't do that at work so it'll be after work so they're going to be they'll come out later probably 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. Um, I'll be able to punch them out um, and get them in. So they will be a bit later for you Australian guys, for the American, uh, all the followers from America and other, other countries. Not sure how it'll affect you, but it may be better for you. It may be worse for you. I'm not sure how that'll go, but uh, yeah, not much I can do about it. I work from five in the morning until 6.30 every night. So I can't obviously film while I'm at work. So a little bit tricky. But we'll get there, we'll get back in the routine. I'm gonna try and keep the Monday to Friday, I think I said to you the other week, we'll keep the Monday to Friday at the moment uh, while I'm at work. That way I've got the weekends to do some catch up on videos if I need to, and I can also go and shoot some stuff after work, some sunsets, or I can fit stuff in whenever I can. I think it'll be good and maybe catch up on some rest. I think the Monday to Friday is a theoretically going forward is a really good way to do the daily another day another vlog series i think it works out really well it gives me two days to 
switch off when I'm at home and spend more time with my family, which is super important to me. And it gives me, I guess, a little bit of catch up. There's only so much you can, that's happening in the tech world, especially at the moment. Uh, I don't really want to drag too much out just to deflate the quality of the show. I guess it's better to have three or four really good items, uh, big ticket items, and then just have a couple of days off and let it build up and have a Monday. Although Monday today was not really as big. Normally it starts about Tuesday because that's the States is the United States Monday. So we pick up a little bit there. Anyway, so that's where we are at the moment. The video's looking good. Th fingers crossed should be, unless there's a drama, should be all good tomorrow. Can't wait uh, to get that one out. It's something different. The moon, uh, this was the biggest uh, super moon of year. I think they call it the blue moon or super moon. Uh, it's the biggest one of 2020. It was back in April um, when we were in full lockdown. Oh, not full. We weren't in full lockdown in Perth. We could still go out and exercise. So just in case you were wondering about that, we still, I still was able to go out and exercise. That's how I got it done. And I was nowhere near anyone. So it all worked out pretty well. So there's some beautiful pictures on there. Uh, I've started putting them on Instagram. If you haven't gone on Instagram, check it. That's nightcliff underscore 34. You'll get that over there and see all our images that we come from the videos. Normally I'll transplant them one at a day, uh, first thing in the morning. I should be able to keep that up at work and I'll keep that gut rolling through. That's pretty easy to do, smash that out while I'm walking to the bus. So that should be all good. Other than that, not much else should change. Should be the same ugly face in front of the screen every day for you. <laughs> Trying to keep you up to date on what's happening, where it's happening and who's doing what to who. Maybe not as much of that. <laughs> Anyways, radio. let's look at it. We did get a little bit of stuff over the weekend. Uh, we'll go run through this now. We'll go to the big ticket items. Uh, the Apple iPhone 12, still more rumours. Um, obviously, that rumour train starts early, and it, and it normally doesn't finish until the last day before they actually release them. Now, it's confirmed Max Weinbach and... Um, Oh mate, over at everything Apple Apple Pro, I'll get my English right today. Um, he's saying it's confirmed that it's going to be on the Pro models only. So you'll get your base models, which will be the iPhone 12, the iPhone 12 Plus, then you'll have the iPhone 12 Pro, then the iPhone Pro iPhone 12 Pro Max. That's your four model designations that we should get in September normally. Whenever that date is going to be, that'll possibly normally around the 21st, around the 20th of September generally. I'd say that possibly may or may not change. Depends how much they bounce back. So the Pro models will be the only ones. They will be getting 120 hertz Pro motion display. So that's the same as the Samsung 20, super fast. So for those guys that are absolutely operating at peak performance and need to look at every page faster than they can flick it, They'll be super excited. It will be good for movies and stuff like that. Um, and, and, and realistically, if it's like when you look at the fast displays and refresh rates, that's really good for sports. So if you're watching soccer or baseball or or any, any sort of sport that's high speed, your, your NFL, anything like that, hockey, fantastic for hockey. That's super, super fast. Uh, if you're watching that on your phone, look, that's fantastic. Those hurts. If you're just doing general phone work, you, the 120 hertz is really not going to mean that much to you for the extra cost. It, I wouldn't buy the Pro model just to get that if you're just a generic phone user. If you're into a lot of sports, that you watch sports on there or gaming, yeah, then the 120 hertz will make a difference. But generally, it's, uh, it's, it's like your TV. You don't need a 200 hertz telly. Unless you watch sports, the 100, 100 hertz is, is fine and all your movies and that'll work really fine. You basically, take that same aspect of uh, m movies and sport on your TV. It's exactly the same scenario on your phone. So just use that sort of methodology, I guess. Um, the notch is shrinking uh, and a wider angle of view. So they're, gonna, they're saying from the new CAD drawings have dropped, it's going to be a little bit skinnier, but you get a bit wide angle. They're still not saying you can get it down on the on the flat, uh, but still going to be better than what it is. It's not too bad. Like I've got the iPhone 10 when the when they first brought it out. I wouldn't go back to fingerprint. The fingerprint's a pain in the ass. I've got it on my iPad and I hate it. 
it never reads your fingerprint right, um, and then they're going to they're somehow put that into a screen, which is going to be a pain in the ass because you're going to be trying to fumble around. It's bad enough trying to, when you're trying to just you just want to read a notification. Now you're going to try and get a phone, especially bigger than this one. That's the ten. The, imagine the X, and you're trying to scramble out to get your thumb in the right location because I don't know if you can see. I've probably hit here, but. I don't know whose thumb sits flat when they've got the phone, when they're hanging on the phone, your thumb's not flat, so it's always on an angle. So the thumbprint's just a stupid, you've really got to get your thumb in a weird angle. So I'm not a big fan of that. I prefer the face. I really couldn't give a crap about the notch. I don't think it really affects anything that much that I've used it for. The only ones I really think it would affect is gaming, and if you're buying a $1,500 phone to game on, I'd go and buy an Xbox or a PlayStation. Really, you probably don't need to be doing it at work or maybe on the way home on the pl on the train or something. I can understand that, but I don't think that's really going to... Buy an iPad if you don't like the notch, really. It's, um, yeah. Anyway, that's my thoughts on it. So it is going to get smaller uh, and a wide angle, so that's really good. It's going to be a little bit better. It's still no good with my sunnies. If I've got um, my normal sunnies on, will not pick it up, I've got to take my sunnies off. That's the only pain in the ass I have with it. Other than that, it works perfect and I love it. Uh, I would definitely never go back to fingerprint. I don't see why anyone would want to go backwards. I have the fingerprint and it sucks, so yeah. I think that's good and, and I'm glad they are, hopefully they don't just get rid of it. If they're gonna, if they, people want fingerprints, still, they need to put both in there and put that under screen one and keep the notch, I think. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Um, now, also, they have axed the 64 megapixel camera. They were talking about putting a new big camera sensor in the iPhone, but apparently uh, was no good and just did not work. So they're keeping the 12 megapixel camera. That's the current news on that. Um, the engineers weren't happy, so they said, no, nah, we're not, we're not going to commit to this, let's just go the 12. So they've kept the 12. They've got heaps better low light on it and a lot more image stabilization in, out of it. And they're looking at a possible three times optical zoom and a telephoto night mode as well. So I think what they've decided, well, if we can't get it right, let's just keep that sensor. Let's up the functions, make sure they're the best possible there is by doing all the other things with low light, putting night, night mode in the telescopic, which would be really cool. Um, better stabilization, awesome if you're filming videos and stuff uh, for your TikTok and bits and pieces, so you're not bouncing around while you're TikToking. I think that'll be pretty cool. So yeah, I think that was a pretty smart decision. So a couple of little updates there for that one. Um, as you know, we're here every week. There's more and more from that and all the way until it releases, whenever that is, so somewhere around September. Radio, so headphone space. There's it's there's it's flood, a flooded market. There's that mil, millions of friggin' wireless headphones out there. It's hard to sort of get something that stands out that's going to make a sale. Obviously, the Apple Pro um, buds are pretty much the top of the wazza. Then you go into your Bose no, noise cancelling ones over here. They're probably the best you get for that. And Sony on the same line. Sony's probably the next best in the buds against the Apple and also in the over here against Bose. Um, well, there's another player there, Razer, which are a gaming franchise or a gaming company. Do keyboards, computers and all that. They've got their own headphones. They have the Hammerhead series headphones, which is a little portable one and a great little thing. Super loud, not much bass apparently from what uh, Lou was saying on unboxing. But he had a great little video on that. I thought it was a brilliant bit of advertising and a great way to promote your products. And I think they'll sell out. Now, it was only available in China. Go check the video out. But basically, if you ever heard of Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon ball that catches the monsters, uh, basically, Razer went out and licensed that. And they made the charging case an actual Pokemon ball. Uh, and inside is yellow Pikachu earbuds that you put in and 
when you start it up and pair it, it goes bigger. So, <laughs> sorry about that. But I thought that was really, it looks, looks spot the dog, exactly like the cartoon. And I think it's only available in China at the moment. They didn't have a price. The actual hammerheads are a hundred bucks US. So there's gonna be a premium. So you'd be probably looking at 150 if you got one without the uh, actual value on it. Uh, probably 150 if you got it out of a China, but you'd more so likely it's gonna be 200, 300 US dollars, I'd say, if you're trying to source one out of there because it's, they're gonna be pretty much be collector's items. But I think it'd be pretty cool. Um, it's obviously bulkier than the normal case, but if you pulled that out and showed your mates, and um, if you're any sort of a cartoon or a comic person like I am, I love my comics, um, I think that'd be pretty cool. And I think that you'd open a fair few eyes and it'd be, it'd be definitely a good talking point. And I think a great idea by Razor, I'm not sure why they didn't expand it outside China because I think they would have sold a shit ton. Yes, very, very cool. I'll try and get a photo of that, Chuck, and you would see on the thumbnail, but I'll let you know about that. Radio, the Canon R6 has shown it up for certification. Uh, new info from Canon Rumors today over on the site. Now, it's, there's pretty much all the other specs have pretty much spot the dog that we already know about, uh, but they're suggesting it's got Bluetooth 4.2. Uh, not 5.0 like the R5. That's pretty disappointing uh, in an age where everything's Bluetooth. They've just done their um, wireless uh, canonimage.com where you upload everything, which so I'm assuming the wireless needs to be uh, Wi-Fi 6. We haven't heard anything about that. I, I've got to chuck a note on Canon Rubens, ask if he knows anything about Wi-Fi 6 being in the new cameras, in the R5 and then the R6. Bluetooth really doesn't matter as much. Bluetooth, um, like now I'm using on the, on the Canon app, I'm using Wi-Fi to connect to it. You don't really use the Bluetooth as much, but, or it is Bluetooth, but Wi-Fi as well, because you set up the network. So, and that's what canonimage.com will do. So I think we need to get some info, maybe more on actually if it's gonna be Wi-Fi 6, which is gonna give us better quality and a bit more range. So, but disappointing that they, they drop it down to 4.2, like five is pretty much standard in all the headphones on the $90 headphones and you're paying a couple of thousand dollars for a camera and you get poxy old technology, which is, yeah, pretty stupid. I know it's a cheaper version and all that, but I can't see that being a major cost that it's gonna change it up. Now it's also going to have the same battery, the LP E6 and H battery as the R5, so that's good if you've got both, or you you might. It's going to be good down the track to buy secondhand ones or to buy new ones. There'll be a lot of these batteries around that you can chuck in both cameras, so that's cool. Rightio, now I did try Legion Energy this just week. I give it a crack. I, I was I had dramas. Just freight was a just nightmare trying to get out of states for the mid G fuel. Um, worked out reasonably well. Um, I was pretty happy with it. Just the flavours. There was some good flavours. Um, I thought I'd just let you know the flavours I, I enjoyed. If you are trying it out, it's sugar free, so it's really good, and it's an Australian mob, so even better. Um, the pineapple, awesome. Vanilla cola was okay. The orange crush, disgusting. Don't even buy it. That was just woeful. Um, the blue raspberry was okay. That was good. Grape was good, but a little bit strong. You, I don't think you want too many of them. And I think that was all I got in the, oh, there was a lemon tea one. Oh, watermelon was really good. And a lemon tea, which was, yeah, tea, cold tea. Was, I had to throw that out. That was really disgusting. Um, but they do have some good flavors. It's basic. I did find a site that actually sells G Fuel in Australia with the freight free if you spend basically the same as the tin cost anyway. So uh, it is in a good option and it's an Australian company, so it's even better. Uh, they, it is really nice. I found about the same effect as G Fuel. I didn't find any sort of difference on the ups or downs or anything like that. So, but it did work and it, it did help out. So another option for you to check out and go suss them out. The shaker, which is their shaker, which is really, really cool. I did enjoy that. Leaks out the top when you shake it. So you can't use it to shake. Don't try it. You'll get crap everywhere and then it's that sticky stuff. So... Just thought I'd give you an update on that, but yeah, so if you if you need one and you're into your caffeine without the sugar and all that stuff, this is another good option for you. 
but there's a couple of little pitfalls and some flavors there for you to try out that uh, won't taste crap. Uh, G Fuel still wins on flavors though, I do have to say they have the best flavors and they've just released bubble gum, so it's just even better. Radio right, COVID-19 update. Oh, I'm running out of time. I've nearly hit 20 minutes already. Okay, 18th of May, WA gets some regional travel open up. So it's pretty much open up most of it. Still be four sectors, but all the southwest of WA if you're in Perth. That'll get open up, thank God. Uh, get some, you can go and do some sort of day trips and stuff uh, not in the same area. So that's really cool, and that'll help out the economy a little bit. A uh, few other places... Uh, Adelaide was opening up as of today. Darwin opens up this Friday, opens pubs and clubs. Even Victoria is getting a little, a little bit of an open up there. So just slowly, slowly. But for this next stage is another four weeks before the next stage. We still can't use children's play equipment for another month, which is just insane. Um, so that's a bit painful, especially as a parent. But it's getting there slowly. Um, so we've got another month for that, and then after that is the, be another month. So it's still going to be July before a possible opening, and then uh, the Western Australian um, uh, Premier said basically the last stage will be the international borders. That's not going to be this year whatsoever. So it's going to be next year before anyone can go any international travel. So you don't have to worry about that one. Possibly New Zealand. That's the only other option you have. Um, what else we got? Uh, now, PM, some late news last night. PM considering slashing JobKeeper uh, payments as one million less than expected joined, funnily enough, because they're probably part of the section that are less than 12 months or their employers wouldn't pay, do the paperwork or so it couldn't be bothered. Um, because they're concerned about zombie companies, so companies that are just existing with employees to get money through and not actually doing anything. So there's a lot, of, I mean, there's a, that's going to affect a lot of people. I think it needs to really have a good hard look at that because the system doesn't work as it is. Yes, it needs refining, but shutting, cutting it, and that was gonna, is going to absolutely crush a lot of people. Um, I did see a thing about the sex workers complaining, like what they can't, they can't, do their job at 1.5 metres away, they're a long way off, at least till next year. So they're going to be out, all out of work for at least 12 months. Uh, there's a lot of other, I mean, what can the sex worker can't go to the, get the doll and ask for, what are they going to do, go and work at a BP? I don't think so. Um, <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of things they need to work out and I think they need to sit down. Now they've got a little bit of a breather in the chaos and actually fine tune this and get this right and, and make sure it works and get the people that uh, need it to get it and work it work out a thing instead of just cutting it. I don't think that's correct. <sighs> Rightio, that's it. I think that's everything I've got for you. Um, yeah, as I said, hopefully tomorrow, it's gonna be a busy day for me tomorrow, so lots happening. I'll try my hardest to get that out. Definitely working on that video. I should have that out for you. Tonight, uh, hopefully in the morning, upload and get all that finished. Uh, looking good. Can't wait for you to see it. Let me know what you think of it. Um, and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow or Wednesday at the worst. Yeah. Radio, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. If you're coming, going. I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.